Hey everyone, Joe here. Well, I want to do a little vlog today and talk about my office and my setup and yes, I have actually even got all my acoustic foam finally installed. So if you're wondering how the office sounds now compared to how it used to sound, let me see if I can't find a little quick uh, clip out of one of my vlogs I did just a few weeks back. And here. Now, this is the wall I want to start with. Now this is a eight foot segment, however my computer's over there and I do have my electrical conduit coming down. Okay, so yeah, big huge difference. And I gotta tell you, I've put a lot of foam up and this stuff isn't really cheap and uh, about the same price here in the Philippines it is in the US. So anyway, let me take show you around and everything. Uh, if you probably remember one of my other vlo uh, previous vlogs, I had put that at the tops here and I had put those at the bottom. Now in that pre previous vlog, I did change a little something. I originally just had two black pads there. I switched one up blue to kind of make it still a little more checkered. Not as weird looking. Now since then, I did put the food, uh, that food, <laughs> foam on the ceiling up there. Even got a little blue LED light to help light that in the back. And since then, uh, of course, those panels up there too. You see that one, as well as that one. It's an, uh, that was like some leftover after I done did everything pieces, and I wanted to use it up, and I needed something to kill out some base, uh, kind of give a little base trap there. So here's the, some of the uh, foam panels I got on the wall here, and let me kind of walk backwards here to see if you can't see it. Yeah, there you go. That's what I got on that uh, back wall back there. And on the other wall over here, some more panels and that one's new too. Okay, I just put those in the other day. So yeah, a lot of more foam and stuff. And as you probably noticed, I've got things hanging in the corners. That is, uh, my tripod bags. One of them's actually got one of my still small tripods in it. This one. Hopefully it looks like it's exposed correctly. Anyway. Got tripods in those. Oh, well, two, uh, one of them anyway. Over here on the other side, I got some uh, other bags and stuff and some uh, black rapid uh, camera straps. And these, hanging these up here, really will help, you know, diffuse any of the sound stuff and prevent reverb. Now I did install some more panels on the ceiling here to kind of help with any kind of like sound when it comes out of that side of the office bouncing over here. Kind of help diffuse it a little bit. Now there is still a little bit of echo uh, as you can hear. It's not bad. It's about like a room would be and compared to the way it was before it is much better. Now so Anyway, what's really important is how it sounds when sitting over here at the desk. And let me set my, <laughs> my tripod there. So yeah, what really matters is how it sounds right here, sitting at the desk. So let me record an audio clip speaking into my AT2035 microphone. And let you hear how it sounds when I'm actually sitting down at my chair here. Okay, everyone. This is me speaking into the Audio Technica AT2035 studio condenser cardioid microphone and this is how it sounds in my office of all the uh, acoustic treatment and everything i will not be doing any post-processing to this audio except bringing up uh amplifying it to about negative one db so you get a really good idea how this audio sounds before i've did any kind of editing or anything in uh davinci resolve so anyway, here we go. A, B, C, one, two, three. Audio test. Bang, bang, bang. Pop, pop, pop. End audio test. So, hope that audio test uh, helps you hear how the audio sounds at my office now. Okay, as you can hear, that's not bad. Now, the AT2035 from Audio Technica is a condenser microphone, and it is a very sensitive microphone. It is an excellent uh, guitar for uh, 
you know, mic and anything like get electric, not electric, but electric guitar works too. But especially like acoustic guitars where you want to pick up all that little bit of sound and stuff. If this microphone sounds good in a, a room, and you don't hear any echo come through on the microphone, you know, like reverb, then you did a good job for your sound treatment because this is a very sensitive microphone. It's a great microphone, but it will pick up every minor detail, nuisance, sound nuisance you will have in your office or studio or game center room, wherever you're recording from. If you're worried about reverb, do not get this mic. It's a great sounding mic, but like I said, it will pick up everything. So, but yeah, if it sounds good on there, I think it'll do pretty decent here. So yeah, anyway, let me show you what the setup and stuff I got going on. This is my current setup. Uh, up here I have like a 90 inch, not 90 inch, excuse me, 90 centimeter, newer uh, umbrella softbox. This is one of these with the, you got the speed light or the light goes inside. And I have a 12 watt LED bulb up in here. And over here, I have some Fotix Spartan 70 soft, uh, soft boxes. It's actually Beauty Dish Spar uh, soft boxes. Really like these because they have a white interior instead of a reflective interior, which helps diffuse sound, uh, not sound, but light. And also have grid on these right here too, which keep the light directed at me and keep it from spilling onto the backdrop back here because I want it to look blue. <laughs> I want the lights and stuff to show. I don't want it to be a uh, spoo much spill. So there's a pro tip for you if you want you lit up, but not your background as much, and you're having trouble lighting, get soft boxes that have grids in them. And all this stuff is in my Amazon store, linked down in the description below. Now I have some special adapters for the bulbs in here. These are some E27 bulbs. Uh, the bulbs, I forgot what the exact wattage is, but they're about two stops brighter than that 12 watts, which is, I believe they are about like 60 watts, what they're supposed to be advertised at. Give or take, but since about two stops brighter, yeah, then that does sound right. It's about 60 watts compared to the 12 watt then. Maybe a little off, but they're really good LED bulbs. I really like them. If I can find them, I'll link them in the Amazon store because I have a real hard time finding those exact ones in the U.S., so you know how it is. You know, I probably get the same products just under different names. It makes it harder to find. But yeah, I have two of those set up. And for my camera here, I have my it's a Sony AXP55, which is the Asian equivalent of the Sony AX53. 4K camera, excellent camera. Does a wonderful job, you know. Then I have a 19-inch InVision monitor up here on top. Let me move my cursors. Get my screen started back up. Where I keep Discord and stuff running up here on top. And that's just a really cheap budget display. It's not the cheapest one I could find because I'm just running Discord or OBS on it. I don't really need anything more, uh, more than that. Below here, I do have a... 27 inch yes yeah, sony uh curve monitor i have it linked also I forgot the exact bottle it's okay it's a budget display does amd free sync however it is not g-sync compatible unfortunately but it doesn't really matter too much because i play most thing everything at 60 frames per second anyway so i live with it over here my computer it is a special one i built myself that is my favorite little computer because it's the only computer I got at the moment. <laughs> I do have uh, two more uh, Macs, but they're older. Now, my computer uh, specs are pretty uh, medium, mediocre. It's not uh, low end, but it's not high end either. Uh, what I do have is uh, Intel 8600K. It is running at 4.8 gigahertz. And I do have 32 gigabyte of RAM because I need that for video editing. And I got a Zotac Gaming RTX 27, 2070, uh, not the Super or anything, just the first uh, 2070s that came out uh, about a year and a half ago now. That and I got it on our uh, uh, medium grade gigabyte board, a little, you know, ultra durable. It's a good board. It's not a overclocker's dream board, but hey, I'm running at 4.8 gigahertz stable. Been doing that for about two years now, well, since the 8600K came out. Had no problems. 
And I have it in an Inwin 101 chassis, which is a beautiful chassis, except the, uh, the uh, glass doesn't prevent any EMI escaping, which is some issues I've had using my uh, SE V7 microphone is, you know, when you got uh, tempered glass, you don't have any way of keeping the EMI of the computer makes in the computer. I've tried moving it like, you know, way on the other end of my desk down here. And it will still pick it up, so I kind of just give up on that for a bit. Now my shelves up here. These are four-foot bookshelves. What I did is I got some aluminum angle. Uh, I don't know if call it angle iron because aluminum seems kind of odd. This is an angled stock. <laughs> just kind of put on there to make it look as one continuous shelf. And I do have some pretty little LEDs right up here on the bottom. And I got them set to blue. Now I got some other LEDs uh, I had left over from other projects. Stuck on the top. I just got them stuck on the white mode, which is RGB everywhere because they're like a 2030 strip or something like that. I forgot the exact number on. But anyway, uh, they look quite nice. So anyway, uh, what else I want to talk about here? In case you're wondering, my helicopter's here. I think two of them still work. I don't play uh, with them much often. A lot of people have asked me about those before. And back here, I got all my cameras and lenses. Uh, my old 70D, which is dead. It's over here. And my older uh, G12 still works great. And I have uh, one of the first lenses I bought years ago, Canon 75 to 300. Then I have a Sigma, the older model here, the 18 to 250, which isn't a bad travel lens. It's just a very slow lens then i have a little bit much better 17 to 70 from sigma the contemporary lens good over lens overall then i have the tamron 70 to 300 which is the upgrade lens i got over that one then i got my sigma 18 to 35 art lens here then i got the tamron 70 to 200 which is the even newer upgrade <laughs> over that lens over that lens and, but this is also f2.8 lens, which makes it uh, my go-to portraiture lens. 7200 uh, G2 model. Love that lens. Another good one from Sigma here, the 50mm uh, f2.8 macro. They don't make it anymore. It's a shame because it's a very good lens. Great macros. Excellent. Sharp even down to f2.8 without any issues. The Canon 50mm STM. Fan the new fantastic plastic. Excellent lens. The super uh, great and excellent Canon 35 F2 IS USM lens. Yes, 35mm prime and is stabilized. Then I got the Rokinon 14mm F2.8 lens. Great lens also. And I got the the new newer 18 to 135 Canon uh, STM lens. The nano uh, STMs, nano USM lens. I got that one as my upgraded uh, travel lens. On the camera, which I, the camera is the currently the Canon 80D, I have the 10 to 22 millimeter uh, USM lens. It's the, it's the older one, but it's still uh, probably one of the best ones out on the market for APS-C, uh, especially for Canon. Then I got my older Canon T3i sitting right here. I don't do much with. Basically let people borrow it every now and then. <laughs> but that's really about all my camera gear I got. Uh, like I said, over here, currently at the moment, I have the AT2035 microphone, and I'm using the Behringer Q502 USB mixer. So yeah, that's pretty much my setup. I know, uh, got some regular uh, budget creative speakers on here. I do have nice Benro, uh, you know, tripod, real heavy duty one. Needed that because I don't like wobbly stuff. And I got a what is uh. Com light, it's a slider, except it doesn't slide very uh, very nicely. So I use it as a way to roll my camera out next to my monitors and stuff. So that's how I've been doing that. That will get the camera around closer to you. So anyway, that's about it for my little inside office tour. That's my current setup. So it's nothing really super fancy. It just works really well. So I'm not going to upgrade until I have to. <laughs> so anyway, that's it for this little quick vlog, everyone. 
I think it's already about 14 minutes now long, so that should be long enough. Let me set this down. My arm gets tired here. But anyway, everyone, I hope you've enjoyed these videos. Uh, this is why I didn't put out a video, uh, you know, Thursday, because I wanted to finish up all this acoustic foam and stuff. So, yeah, I've been was working on all that, getting all that set up. Because if you watch my other videos, yeah, I glue these uh, panels to the wood. Then after the, the glue stuff dries, then I mount them to the walls. But anyway, I think I'm pretty much set on acoustics as far as this room goes. It's going to be pretty hard to get any uh, much better. And it sounds pretty decent right now. Uh, it's not too much reverb. And it's not too dry. I don't want it like an anechoic chamber because it would just sound really weird. But I may end up adding a basic few bass traps here and there just to fine tune it, you know, in a few months, probably whatever. I'm not really worried about it right now. As far as audio equipment stuff, I do plan on upgrading. I got a Moto M2 coming in. I also bought a cloud lifter for the heck of it. I also have a Rode NT1 uh, condenser mic, which is doesn't need the cloud lifter. But I ordered it also, and I also ordered the uh, Electro Voice RE320, which I did get the Cloud Lifter for, just in case. You know, I want to, uh, you know, I wanted to get it and the Cloud Lifter, just in case the Moto needed it, which shouldn't from all the tests and stuff I've seen. But I ordered it anyway, just because I wanted to have it, and I'll do a review for it and do a review on all those wonderful items when I come in. So that's going to be my upgraded audio equipment when it does come in, although it'd be a few months because I'm having it sent from the U.S. You know, via sea cargo because it's the only real way to get anything sent out here at the moment reliably. So anyway, I hope everybody's been doing well and staying safe. And I hope to see everybody in the next video. Let me make sure I'm focused in here. So before we go, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Thumbs up so it's highly appreciated. And if you're not a subscriber to my channel, please take the time to subscribe. Subscribing's free. It's for you. And let you know when I release more wonderful videos. So until next time, everyone, thank you for watching.